They do. My dog, my golden retriever, his name is Thunder. I noticed a cyst that's not normal, so I felt like I needed to bring him in to have it seen. And he is the most loving dog. I mean, he's at my feet all the time. How you hello, doing? Hello, hello. Hey, how you, doing? how you doing? I'm great. How about you? Good. What's going on with this baby? Under his neck, he's got a big old red. I mean, it's like. Hey, sit baby. down, Thunder. Hey, Let Thunder. him see your neck. Let me look here. Oh, Thunder, I know. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, you hey. Can lay down. You Relax. can lay down. You can lay down. There you go. He's yeah. a belly rubs. Yeah. Oh, was like a mask? Yeah, he got a little growth there. And it's gotten red and ulcerated there. Thunder is presenting with a mask on his neck. It is something that concerns me because it's on the neck and it's raised up and it's real red and irritated. He's like a little tumor. Probably not cancer, but you really don't know until we okay. take him off and send it to the lab. Got it. So my recommendation here is that we take this thing off. Okay. And we can do it today. Okay. You gonna win for me? Yes, sir. All right. Come here, eat some. My initial thought after looking at this growth is that it's a wart. But after looking closer, it's red, it's ulcerative. We need to do a histopathology to get a definitive diagnosis. All right, Paul. Looking like a surgery case again. I want to get this growth off as fast as we can. Because if the report comes back and it's cancer, we give it a couple of days to metastasize. And that's not what we want to do. Look at that. Yeah, so making my initial incision here, this thing is what I call hot because it's, it's red and ulcerated, but at the same time, we're sitting pretty close to the juggler, so I don't want to hit that. So we're in an area that's real tight. Better to be conservative, huh? OK. That one just look like a... A wart? Like a wart. It could have started out like that. That'll be good if it is. A larger wart that became ulcerated because they were scratching at it. But they always scare me when they're red and ulcerated like this. I always hated warts, Jordan. But then they grew on me. <laughs> oh, very cheesy. All right, then that didn't pass the test. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it, though. So we'll get this growth prepared and sent in to the pathologist once we get a report back. Hopefully, the report is clean. Mm-hmm. Good job, Doc. Surgery went great today. We got that growth off. Um, we got it sent to the lab, and we're going to discharge this baby and let the baby go home. And um, hopefully, fingers crossed, those results come back and everything is negative, and this is just a benign tumor. Thunder's doing good. Thunder's still a little bit, a little woozy there. All right, so there's a possibility that that was just a larger wart. We've been scratching it so much that we broke the skin there, and it was red from there. OK. But it, it worries me sometimes when they are red because that can mean, we just use the word, they're hot or it can mean cancers. Right. So we got meds going home, with antibiotics, okay. and pain, anti-inflammatory. Okay. But come on back. You come okay. back, see? I'm really concerned because I don't want it to be cancerous. Your mind kind of jumps to the worst case scenario. Right now, I'm just hoping that it's something that can be fixed quickly. How you doing? Hey. Oh, he knows you. He's trying to get up. He's trying to walk to you. Hey, buddy. <laughs>